this is a quick little demonstration um, about looking at niches. So let's say that you start with something that you're interested in. Say I uh, just pick something off the top of your head. So we'll just choose basketball. So you pop that into Word Tracker, do a little keyword research, and you find out what people are searching for. So uh, let's just make a quick note here of the keywords that we found. Uh, we'll start with um, the history of basketball. And I'll just abbreviate that for the sake of our demonstration here. So we have the history of basketball. That's a potential subtopic. Uh, then we have basketball rules. Basketball cheers. It's important to look at the depth of a niche. You don't just want to go with basketball because it has tons and tons of searches because that's very general. You want to see what people are actually searching for. Uh, another thing on the list is basketball clip art. Then we've got basketball shoes. Also on the list is basketball facts. I think that would probably go under the history, so we'll put that over here. We have facts. We have uh, famous players, famous basketball players. That would also probably go under the history. Uh, how to play basketball. That probably goes under the rules, I would assume. Uh, we have uh, also we have high school basketball rules. So that's a subset of this. We have basketball positions and basketball drills that goes under how to play. All of these are keyword phrases when you search basketball. Let's see, and under basketball shoes then uh, we see keywords like we see Nike, Jordan, Adidas, we have girls, women's, you. Okay, so you take a look at this as an overall niche and you realize that this entire sector right here, they're looking for information. We don't want information. We've got basketball rules, how to play, drills, positions, high school rules. This entire subset of the market is also informational. We have basketball cheers. That's informational. People looking for information. Clip art. They want free clip art. This is the only real niche that I see some potential with, basketball shoes. It is a small and competitive niche, so you could back out and broaden this from another angle, which is something I like to do a lot. So you back out, you started with basketball, now you back out to shoes, um, and maybe look at athletic shoes. So we go here and we look at athletic shoes. We find out what people are searching for as far as shoes go. So now we have a niche that we're actually getting into some research. Again, this takes all of five minutes to determine what people are searching for in any given market or niche, and then to time, determine a subset of that niche or a micro niche you can work within. So with, within us, athletic shoes, we have uh, searches for basketball shoes. We have running shoes. We have ballet shoes, dance shoes, which of course the ballet could probably go under dance, but they may be two different things, something you have to research. We have bowling shoes and golf shoes. There's also wrestling shoes. We'll put those over here. So as you see, there's some depth to this market of athletic shoes, which includes the basketball shoes that we decided were probably a good bet.